XRP is at 41 cents at this point in time, just ranging. Possibly till when? The Fed meeting, guys, because that's that's getting closer and closer. Let's prepare. Today we have a lot to talk about, folks. You guys ready? Because it's about to get very interesting here. But actually, only now. Holy war mode activated. Guys, it seems like the B3 on the horizon. I'm not sure. But listen to this. Уже все. То есть мы переходим из режима специальной военной операции, мы переходим в совсем другой режим. Мы переходим в режим священной войны. Ну так реально. Это режим священной войны. Нам противостоит 50 стран, которых объединяет сатанизм. Wow, guys, is that even real? Right. Zelensky says he is not quote unquote, uh, not quote unquote interested in negotiating with Putin as well. Do you of course he's not. ever wonder what might happen if you were in a room alone with President Putin? Would that help at all to resolve this war? Do you... <laughs> so... Again guys, there's so much happening, right? Of course he isn't. He's, he's getting US and EU aid equivalent to 75% of pre-war GDP. There you go, guys. A hundred billion just from the U.S. United States of America. He gets to be president as long as there is a war. Why would he negotiate? Wars are meant to continue, not to stop, folks. Russia has attacked a Turkish flagged ship in Ukraine. Turkey is a member of NATO as well. Limanı, tuzla gemisi, köprü üstünü wow. vurdular. It truly gemisi, is about to accelerate, guys. It, tru it truly is about to accelerate because this is a mechanism, right? This seems, this seems likely to escalate outside of Ukraine as well. And therefore, I've said already in the last days, yes, we have to do more to defend Ukraine. Yes, we have to do more also on tanks. But the most important and the crucial part is that we do it together and that we do not do the blame game in Europe because we are fighting a war against Russia and not against each other. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Minister. Now, why would it escalate outside of Ukraine? I'm pretty sure Gregory Manorino stated this, guys. It's going to engulf this world, right? It's going to add more countries and nations, possibly, which then might correlate to what or connect to WW3 beginning or starting at that point in time, right? Now, this, in my humble opinion, guys, this all points towards what the collapse once again to bring forth a new financial system. Right now, I don't believe the BW3 will take place, but as we now see, Biden sends 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine, guys. And today, today, I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine, the equivalent of one Ukrainian battalion. Secretary Austin has recommended this step because it will enhance the Ukraine's capacity to defend its territory and achieve its strategic objectives. The Abrams tanks are the most capable tanks in the world. <clears throat> They're also extremely complex to operate and maintain. So we're also giving Ukraine the parts and equipment necessary to effectively sustain these tanks on the battlefield. And we begin, we'll begin to train the Ukrainian troops on these issues of sustainment, logistics, and maintenance as soon as possible. It's funny, they're sending 31, by the way, 13, right, Mir? Now, I was going to say this, who's funding all of this, by the way? It's either you or they're printing it out, guys. They're printing the capital to do all this, right? So do we see how they're they're keeping this bubble, um, bubble mo monster bubble keep on growing and growing and growing, right? Because they can't stop, guys. If they did stop, the system will collapse today. So they have to keep printing at this point in time, right? There's so much happening again. This is this is purely a mechanism. At the end of the day, guys. Look at that, thirteen thirty one. 13 is in the news a lot with money, 1.3 billion million dollar lawsuits, right? We see it many times, 13 is death, time is death. Wow, I mean 31 Abrams, 31A, right? Which is 311133, wow guys, interesting. Again, WW3 perhaps, now Biden declares war on Russia without a declaration from Congress. 
According to Joe Biden, WW3 starts with the shipments of offensive equipment like tanks to Ukraine. Welcome to WW3. Here we go. Why are we talking about this? Is because it connects to Mr. Poole here very shortly, guys. Listen to this, though. The idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand, uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War III. Today, I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. I've done some dumb things and... Crazy, 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 guys. Right? All, all banker wars at the end of the day because they are pushing all of this, right? They are funding all of this. They are printing and, and keeping this mechanism going, guys. To bring forth this this new system at the end of the day right it's it's quite clear what we see right here and by the way they don't care what what type of bloodshed they create to bring forth whatever they need to bring forth right that's what that's why the possibly the pope was weeping that day guys a, a while back ago right um so in conclusion they don't care about the their own puppets and we the people at the same time because whatever needs to happen they have to uh Fulfill their end goal, right? And now, guys, we're talking about XRP and the XRP community. Now, this is called White. Interesting from Fojack. Guys, here we go. Mr. Pool has been activated. It's beginning, guys, right? So, Mr. Pool just posted this yesterday um, 101, as you guys can see, and then 1776, right? Now, if you go down here, what does, what does the video tell us right here? Let's check this out. There you go, guys. Basically, an emergency broadcast system or alert system, right? Telling us to duck, cover, take shelter. A warning, guys, for what? We just talked about it before. We just seen the other, uh, the previous other videos about possibly WW3 or maybe perhaps a nuke going off, guys, right? I'm not sure, but knock, knock as well. You guys can see right here, which would connect to. 101 from Purple Riddler, and then does that mean it's a step away from beginning? Then he posted um, these images right here, right? System offline, perhaps, maybe a cyber attack. Who truly knows? Again, the collapse of what the chain and um, right here, supply chains, right? 
the collapse of it all. Which which is interesting, guys. Let uh, get ready for blood in crypto. Hmm. Russia fumes at West decision to send tanks to Ukraine. Says red lines have been crossed. There we go, folks. Right, the red lines have been crossed. So, which would then obviously connect to that video right here. Wow, it truly is about to begin, isn't it? Now, um, his profile update as well. You guys can see that right there. If you go down here, it it means possibly to know or start it, as you guys can see. Start it or no, rev uh, reverse uh, Russian to English. Uh, uh, maybe a connection right here, something with 10 as well. Hmm. And if you go down here, um, start it or 10, the beginning or the shadow has begun. It started, right? So it's telling us it's about to start or it, it has started basically. Then if you go up here, he posted OSI or ISO, right? A connection to everyone's now talking about ISO 20,022, right? Why? Because if you go to this right here, to the ISO tweets, are you ready for ISO 222 for payments? The go live date in March 2023 is fast approaching. Don't wait. Again, when is this March, right? So maybe He's telling us about what is right around the corner. March 2023. That's the start of the Swift community's migration to ISO 2022 for cross-border payments and reporting. Whether you're adopting ISO 2022 from this date or not, it's important to understand the impact of this change on your business. So, what happens on March, guys? The new year takes place right around the same time frame. Um, this takes place, and guess what else? Swift is about to go live at March, um, with ISO at March. By the same time, the SEC lawsuit against Ripple and XRP is supposed to come to an end. That's what I literally stated on my second channel, guys, with our with uh my updated timeline, right? That's when it should conclude. At the same time, that that takes place. But at the same time, what else happens? Federal Reserve should pause interest rate hikes as well at that point in time, right? So February possibly fifty uh, basis points, and in March they pause, and after some time they start cutting down rates, guys. Do so we see how this all connects at the end of the day? Then if you go up here, he posted this right here as well, this tweet, um, which will connect to a few things. We'll get to that in just a bit, as well as this guy's only, right? Nine in the middle, a repost as well uh, from a little bit ago, only um, equal only nine more days, which is February 3rd as well, guys. Wow. Right. So February 3rd, what's going to happen, guys? Let's read, um, let's check this out. This is debated. The telephone lines should be kept open. This is not a test. Chicago, Los Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, Pennsylvania, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. Stand by for this message. Again, something is about to explode guys right this is not a joke folks something is about to literally take place let's prepare at the end of the day as well you guys can see his um mr pull profile picture update as well he changes uh profile picture right and then he updated this now that is removed as well which is fascinating he then posted this right here guys what is this Right. Link to the full document. This is about a 97 page guys document right here. Now I'm not going to read all of this or at all guys, but you guys should probably check this out for yourself. Maybe some one of you guys should make a summary guys of what this truly means, right? Or is the initial phase of the recon coin security security mechanism development has resulted in the preparation of two uh, reports. Right, and then it goes on and on and on. But then he posted, if you go down here, this right here, guys, right, which is then correlated to Mr. Pool tweeted this right here. It's funny because then it, it seems like Mr. Pool changed his um, the letter I as well into into capitalized now, which is fascinating. So 
what does this mean? Basically, on Mars, right? It it's supposedly talks about Mars. If we go all the way down here, somebody pointed out. It talks about time travel, right? And a time travel op operation, which which correlates to remote viewing. Um. This is Joe McGonigal, phenomenal remote viewing and seeing an ancient civilization on Mars. They were trying to escape and the dying planet and waiting for help to return one million years ago, right? It correlates to this, uh, this right here. Before we do, what is um, remote viewing? It is a practice seeking impressions about a distant or unseen subject, right? S uh, sensing with the mind. W with what? Which basically, typically, a remote viewer is expected to give information about an object, uh, object, or event, person, or location that is hidden from physical view and separated at some distance. Right? Very fascinating stuff. 1984, Mars exploration, guys. Mm, Mars exploration, huh? The the planet Mars time of uh, time of interest approximately one million years BC. Again, look at that, guys. Now, I'm not going to read read this at all, but it talks about. Look at this. I want to say it looks like. Uh, I don't know. It sort of looks like I kind of got an oblique view of an uh pyramid, Pyra pyramid form. It's very high. It's kind of sitting in a large, depressed area. Now, all right, it's yellowish. Ah, uh, ochre color, colored. It's it's fascinating because a pyramid on Mars, right? I have heard that pyramids are one of the most common um, structures throughout the universe, which is fascinating stuff. Now, if you go uh, back here, what a coincidence um, that big pyramids were also built on Earth in Egypt and Central America as well, right? Now we know where the ancient pyramid builders came from, perhaps Mars, right? Mr. Poole gets his name from the ca uh, causal loop of time travel physics. In this video, it talks. It's very fascinating. This video as well, guys. You guys should probably of check course, this out. A loop. Um, I'm going to leave all the links down below so you guys can investigate further. But again, this video basically talks about the past proving the future, and the future proving the past, which supposedly is some type of paradox. And then it talks about some type of gins as well, guys. Right? Um, I'll leave all all the links down below so you guys can investigate further, because this is quite fascinating to say the least. Now, if we go back to Fojack's tweet right here, the guys, there's a lot to talk about. What's happening, right? Um, pyramid, right? As you guys can see, as pyramids implode into dusty red smoke walls, it will all be it will be all but too late to change it. But you have been waiting and wanting it though, so don't be surprised. The world will trans uh, finish transitioning soon, and when we come out, you you will see it all. And yet, not many, only a few will stay here to do so. If you have listened, if you have looked, the answers you all have been seeking will all come to you. And I'm pretty sure this this doesn't correlate with what um um the collapse, right? We thought it would correlate with the collapse, but perhaps it doesn't, guys. Maybe it, maybe there's a double meaning here. Maybe it does correlate with the collapse, but in my humble opinion, it's something. it has something to do more with another reset, so to speak, right? As you guys can see, the old world will fade, guys. A new one will emerge, right? Where will you be to witness it all? Look at this. The past holds a sequence, a cycle of sorts, right? You guys can see how the past proves the future, like your time traveling. Um, and, and it was talking about Mars, right? You guys can see Starship takes beings of Earth to Mars, as well from Elon Musk. Interesting. Because if you go to this next tweet right here, the Elon Musk Mars hoax, you didn't actually be believe he's sending spaceships to Mars, did you? So. Nothing more than a sci-fi script written in 1953 by um, that person right there said Mars Colony would be uh, led by someone given the title Elon. So how would he have known, guys? Isn't that crazy, right? There are literally time travelers, to say the least, um, made by Elon 2019. What I was going to say is, it's funny how they have to remote view to certain places, but can't get there, right? As well as this right here. He just posted this on yesterday, guys, or on January 25th. Hop in. We are going to Mars. Hmm. Literally or metaphorically or spiritually, shall we say, instead. Now, 
there's a lot more to talk about guys there's a lot more decodes but it's getting the video is already way too long so i'm not going to keep talking guys and tomorrow we'll just pick up where we left off now, if Auntie Protects you don't come from Baba Cucks, a lot of people are going to be disappointed. The truth will reveal itself. The, the illusion is over, right? Again, 2023, the year of truth, guys. Let's go. It's time. Not financial advice, not financial advice, and not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for you guys. Amazing, it is. See ya.